So here we are at uh, Audi Center Stellam on this evening where Audi has unveiled two models of e-tron cars, their first ever electric cars, starting with the RS e-tron GT and behind me, all they did announce is two models, the Q8 e-tron and the e-tron GT, but you have different variants in each one of them. They won't actually be available to buy until middle of this year, but they have brought the RS e-tron GT behind me. It looks really good. Let's have a look. So, I mean, I'm looking at the car right now. It looks like a Taycan, honestly, because it basically is, right? Olive green to match the fact that it's green and zero emissions. Very nice. Although I'm not so sure about the wheels, the same way I wasn't so sure about the wheels in the 4S. This has 646 PS from dual electric motors. So it's very, very fast, 0 to 100 in 3.3 seconds and something like 830 Newton meters of torque. So yeah, I heard it's very, very good. Um, even in the wet, it's very, very fun to slide around. It'll do so very easily. At the front, you really get the fact that it's an Audi because the biggest change, of course, is that single frame grille. Of course, it's not really a grille anymore because it's an EV, but you do get the Audi face. Very nice. Great car around. Air suspension, 21-inch wheels. Uh, I love it. All right, so here we are inside the RS e-tron GT. So, it's very, very, very nice. In fact, it's so solid, I can't even believe it. Everything over here is very futuristic. Even though it's a futuristic Audi, you don't get that many uh, touchscreen surfaces. Some car companies go overboard with that. Over here, it's just a lot of shapes, a lot of in-your-face lines, carbon everywhere. This very Audi-like D-shaped flat bottom steering wheel. It's a very sporty place to sit. In fact, these seats over here are very, very Audi, very thin, kind of like hugs you together when you're going very sideways, which you can with the car. Glass roof, and okay, because this car is based on a Taycan, the J1 platform, it uses the same 800 volt electrical architecture, which means it'll support very, very fast DC charging. It has a onboard 22 kilowatt AC charger, so you get faster AC charging as well. And overall range, this car is rated for around 600-ish kilometers on a battery that measures in capacity 83.4 kilowatt hours. So big battery, big sporty car, and really like it's the top of the range Audi RS, you know, and e-tron that they offer. So more to come.